What? Who's there? Ah, uh, nobody. Seriously, Chris, lighten up. Please, just crack a smile once in your life. Come on. <laughs> uh, good morning, good afternoon. How did I get flipped around? And a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. You are here with Morris. And at the end of the last part, more goo. 32% goo. That is amazing. Can I scan Chris? Just give me instant 100% goo. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go into this bank vault, shall we? See what they're keeping in there. is somewhere in this research area. You know what, Chris? I am inclined so to agree with you. This is the secret of Zenobia. You know what? I hope... I'm not really one for extravagance, but I kind of hope I have something that I feel the need to keep in a door like that. One day, you know? Wow, that's the end. We've been going, what, a minute? That's the end. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching this episode. Episode 8, all on the line. And another S rank, I'll take that. You know what, I'm looking forward to going through this game again on Infernal. Because I do want to do it, just to see how ridiculously difficult it is. I mean, it's a real step up. Or rather, normal is a real step down. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Alright, save that shit. On to episode 9. Wow, that is a real... That is That should be like a, a double S rank. Come on, if this was Devil May Cry, that would be double S. For all that, I think I deserve it. <laughs> Alright, previously on. Previously, on Resident Evil Revelations. Wow, he sounds like a nerd. <laughs> Parker getting frisky. Jessica getting frisky. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secret she keeps. Raymond. What secrets? Getting shot. Jessica, why did you fire? Raymond? Why? Why play the part of Veltro? What do you mean? Find the truth. Find the revelations. So this is the secret of Zenobia. This is crazy, this game. This is... Resident Evil is an extravagant series. You know? Right from the first game. Very extravagant series. With crazy characters. No exit. But this is on a whole new level. Sea level. <laughs> no, I'm, that was terrible. Don't ignore that. Cut that out. <laughs> oh no, we'll be back with everyone's favorite sitcom couple. Well, well, well. Whoa. Oh, he's amazing. freezing his nuts off. And he is just juking and jiving all over the place. Christ. I don't think I've ever had anything download that quick in my whole life. What what internet is he using all the way out of here? Look at this. So what the hell did you do? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't I don't do get anything. It. Hmm. These really are just comic relief characters, aren't they? Tell me the battery's dead. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. Okay, who's on that mug? I don't recognize that character. We have to get back is that to somebody from uh, another Capcom game? It's got to hey, be. Man, so hold up. This is one I haven't played. A series I'm not. Uh, maybe, maybe a lesser known series I'm not familiar with. Let me know in the comments on that one because I'd be interested to hear that. It's got to be, right? Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? Well, aren't you the smart one? If my theory is correct, 
and the truth about Valtra was really too early to say. Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. What are they doing? This ain't a circus show. But it's getting that way. Ah, oh, these guys. Honestly. All right, let's find that computer. I wish I'd left myself more ammo. My only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be tits. That, does anyone say that? <laughs> I've never said that in my whole life. Don't slam the door on me. I have never said that in my whole life. That would be tits. Like what? <laughs> I guess I kind of get it, but. So this is the same area as- Whoa! This is the same area as before, right? So... I really want to use that melee attack. There we go. Here we go. Oh, no. You didn't give me time to look like a cool guy. Why would you not do that? I'll get it in. It will happen one day. So yeah, I've actually- This is the same area as before, so I've taken all the items already, haven't I? So they had to shake this up. No, now it's not the time for conspiracy theories. Oh, hello. Can I not pick these up before? I guess not. Oh, there is stuff. Oh, what is that? Oh, I read this, haven't I? Yeah. No problem then. Thank you, by the way, to the person who told me to, you know, keep checking. It's actually come in really useful. Does this make you uncomfortable, man? I could kill you with- oh, I hear- Oh no! Two rocket launchers? Are you serious? Holy crap, what am I gonna be- Oh man, this looks like- if I was gonna fight a boss, it would be in here. Rifle ammo and the rifle. Oh my god, it's given us a whole new selection of weapons. Alright, well this has no ammo in it, so I am actually going to switch this out for a... I'll switch it out for the rifle for now. And we'll see what happens before I actually pick these shotguns up. Is that a real in the flesh MB-28? Grinder, it's what I always wanted! You take the gadgets like a fly to horse shit. And there's barrels it's just here a and plenty of bombs. Okay, down a brass tax. Boss fountain, it's gotta be. What the hell? Nothing's happening. What did you do, Quinn? It's not me. I need more power. The MB28's a real gas guzzler. Well, maybe not a boss. There's but gotta be a generator around here. here. I need it. Okay. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. <laughs> If you love your computer so much, why don't you marry it? Ah, <laughs> uh, he probably would. Alright, well this looks like something that might turn some power off. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. Well, that's one. There's not enough power to fully charge the MB-28. Are there any other generators? God, what is this computer sending you to the moon or something? How much power does it need? Question is, can I play the Witcher 3 analysis. on Ultra? So you get anything? No, I gotta get through the layers of encryption on this thing first. But that should only take a few minutes with me and my baby MB28. Excellent. I guess I'll do the fighting then. Whoa! Oh, there we go. Oh, just I'm these things it. again? Leave these guys to me. It's, they're they're going to step out. There's no way they just need to... Oh, God! Behind me? Get me up here. Oh! How perfect was that timing? Oh, my God. They can jump up here real easy. Real easy. And when they do, I have nowhere to go. Are they just coming after me? Oh, no! Don't glitch out, Pooch. Come on. You're better than that. Oh god, why do they always jump up at the worst possible moment? Oh man, I'm in that FBI 
the ass habit again of oh god hunters of reloading after like every single kill Seems like a good corner to back up into. And I also don't seem to care that he exists. No, it's, it's all about me. That's another thing about the whole partner system. It's like. They don't, oh no, I have to leave. <laughs> like, they don't. Uh, they don't even seem to draw any attention. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to protect him, right? But. Even in other areas where you're both fighting, enemies never ever go near him. Whoa! Hey buddy! How's it going? How is it going? Tell me. Let me know in an email. I'll read it later. Oh god. Come on, do we need rocket launchers here? It just seems like over. Oh, this does not fire anywhere near as quick as it should be. Yes, a lot of enemies. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the best shot in history. What do I just keep... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Shouldn't, shouldn't aim your arsehole at me. Because there will be a bullet inside it. Soon enough. Oh, no. That was close. That was close. Oh, no. He dodged. Yeah, there we go. Rifles, man. It's another invisible monster. Oh no. Be careful. Oh no. Oh god. Get out of the way. Jump! Please! Oh, that was close. Alright, here we got. Not those things, please. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god. They were in the way. I couldn't do anything. Yep. Nope. I could have sworn I hit that guy. I guess not. Oh. Please don't turn off. Please don't turn off. Hey, Morris, maybe you should use the barrels. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh my god, a python. What? Alright then, alright then. You wanna play, lads? You wanna play? Let's do it. Why not? Don't auto-aim at him! I wanna aim at the barrels! Ugh. Still gotta turn that off. I got it. And keep that genie in the bottle until I come back. Oh man, there's a time and a place for auto aim. That was not it. Oh, I love the way he reloads that shit though. That's cool. All right, is there anyone else? Okay, I think it's safe to have a look at this data now. Ready? Hold your horses. I'll be there in a sec. Hold your horses, man. I want this back. Whew. Whew. Tense. Right, right. That explains it. Explains what? Who's behind Veltro? I feel yeah, like this guy could like easily get word being a Ghostbuster. One way to find out. Let's ask him ourselves. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors, orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. All to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. Glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I have a did nobody Foster, notice? And there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. 
What's going on? Connection error? Oh, we've been detected. Oh god, restart the route. I'll solve it, don't worry. not good for anybody. Jesus, they are leveling this place. What a disaster. You know what? I react exactly the same way when any of my downloads fail, so, you know, <laughs> I don't blame him. I guess we can expect all action sequences with those guys. They're really well equipped. In fact, they're throwing weapons at us now. Rocket launchers, magnums. This is some. This is some end game stuff right here. Although I've been saying that for like three chapters, so I don't know. <laughs> but come on, rocket launchers. Does it get much better? Does it get much more powerful? Half expect Ada to swoop in and give us an even more powerful rocket launcher. You can dodge while reloading. Thanks, game. Thanks for believing in me, still. Even though I've proven I can't dodge while I do anything. Three sixteen AM. Woo! I haven't stayed up that late in ages. <laughs> Gets to midnight and I'm like, whoa, too much for me. Seriously. Never used to be like that. It's strange how that's changed over the years. We need to stop the virus from getting out. I know. The control system must be in the lab. It must be. Whoa! Chris! Oh, he's scanning it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can ski it. You can see it. See the lasers with the scanner. I see. I guess we're not going that way then. Nice. Ow! What? I didn't even hit that. I must have just brushed it. And they hurt you as well. Wow. Nice. They really hurt you. And that won't open for some reason. Does that switch all of them off? Very good. Okay, let's just heal up and take this free field. Must be some kind of locking mechanism. Nope, same old fingerprint scanner. Now we're getting somewhere. I love how no one says that, it just appears on the screen. Excellent. Alright, give me that. Which I, yeah, I still needed more ammo. Machine gun ammo case. Well, that'll do nicely. To go with my new ammo. Completion of new type virus. The T Abyss virus contains genetic material from both the Abyss and the T virus. In and of itself, it is not much of a threat, but it has allowed us to lay the groundwork for the study of weaponized marine viruses. I fear, however, that my name will someday be known for assisting with the production of the world's most terrible weapon. So I should probably stop now, shut down the operation, do what I can to make sure this doesn't happen. Or, if a concentrated liquid form of the virus were to be released in a large enough area of the sea, our data indicate that it would contaminate all of the world's oceans in a very short time, starting with bacteria at the point of contamination and then causing a chain reaction that would impact all forms of sea life. Once the T. abyss virus contaminates an area of the sea, it will cause mutations at the genetic level to all life forms in the area. It will be impossible to predict the severe ecological impact on humanity. I have doubts as to whether the research I'm doing here is actually to prevent bioterrorism and biohazard outbreaks. I would say the fact that you're writing that down means it's probably not for any kind of prevention. Means. <laughs> probably the most evil thing you could possibly do. 
stakes are certainly being raised in this chapter. Don't unleash creatures on me. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, he closes again. Oh, that's cool. Yep, I, th I knew, well, one of them had to come alive, didn't it? Let's be real about it. Let's just be honest with ourselves. I, uh, nope, can't melee that, apparently. Still not sure of that. There we go. Yeah, see, this gun does the job of a pistol, in a sense. 1%, that sucks. Malakoda development materials. What is that? Malakoda? Development of Kona and Malakoda happened by pure chance. We're infecting various species of fish with the T abyss virus as part of our research into marine based BOWs. By chance, one of the test subjects was contaminated with parasites. The parasite is Gyrodactylus celeris, a small monogenian. Monogenian ectoparasite. God, this really is a lab, isn't it? When T abyss is used to infect the host, it not only affects the host, but the parasite as well. The unique mutations formed by the dual infections have allowed us to improve our overall BOW development. A larval malacoda is only, is only about one centimeter in length. Because it is so small, it can be used as a parasite to infect the host by se secreting a liquid that contains the virus. The parasite mutates inside the host and matures rapidly. This is very similar to the Las Plagas, I guess. Perhaps the synergistic effect... Just inventing words here. Is that a thing? Synergistic effect of the T abyss... And the secretion causes an increase to the metabolism of the organism. The size to which the Malakota can develop is contingent upon the size of the host. While clinical tests have yet to be carried out, if a whale were to be used as the host, there's no limit to the size Malakota could assume. God, do I have to fight a mutant whale? Because I really don't want to have to do that. Veltro Agents Journal 2. 2004, mission elapsed time, 2 plus days. The mission was a success. Terra Grigia is now a full-blown hell on Earth. Not sure how you can count that as a success, but there you go. We unleashed the ultimate virus to rend the city with terror and violence. The FBC sent its soldiers, but they were like lambs before lions. We have achieved our goal. The world will know that they do not have to wait for hell. It's already here. Open your eyes, world. Open your eyes to the truth. Bernard, Unless you're going to publish this journal online, then you're not really getting this across to anyone. Mission lapsed five days. The ship has been contaminated. The virus has turned my comrades into horrible monsters, and these monsters could turn everyone else into monsters. Horrific chain reaction. Why is this happening? We were going to bring hell to the masses, not have hell brought to us. Oh, so it's okay when you unleash hell on everyone else as long as you don't have to deal with it. That's nice. The same thing is happening at the... Se se what, what is that? Semiramis? Yeah. The virus has contaminated all the ships. It cannot, be it cannot be a coincidence. Someone was using us all along. But who? None of us would ever betray Veltro. The only one who would do this is our mysterious financier, who we've never met and don't know. He's the only one who's not here, Norman. We need your guidance. Deliver us from this evil. The rest of the paper is missing. Don't expect me to feel sorry for you, bad guy. You are the bad guy. You did this to everyone and yourself. I don't know what you want. I think this is the lab's control system. All right, one rifle bullet. Does it work? That's all I need. We need a passcode to activate the neutralizing agent. Okay, I'll sweep the lab, see what I can find. One passcode coming right up. Figure out these controls. Maybe I should do that. Out of the two of us, I think Jill will be the most successful hacker. If that is indeed what we're doing here. I cracked the code on the door. Opening it now. Nice. I will do. Think? You can count on it. Damn it! Open it up again, please. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Where is this taking us? Oh my god. Oh jeez. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be fun. Maybe I should just go along like this. Oh god, don't hit the sides. Wait. Through here. And then through here. Can I 
I get that? Nope. Oh, that is just straight up protected, that one. Well, that didn't help. Or did it? Hang on, let me press that again. <laughs> just get a look at this. Oh, right, I couldn't even get off before. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna find another switch to take all of them off, I guess. Okay, so now through here, around here, across here, down here. There we go. Got, got it. Oh, God. Whoa. Well, both of us, because look. <laughs> We've seen those before. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Yeah, that's right. That's doing some damage to him. What happens if you do that? Oh, no, they turn into horrible crawling creatures. I don't want this. This is worse. It's now moving faster than it was. Ow. I am surprised you got that hit away. Ah, he's going down. He's going down. It's all good. Alright, where is this chunk? Where is this chunk, really? Oh, man. I'm being really cheeky trying to take him out. Oh, he dodged. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That was a nice hit. Alright. Oh, God, he's coming from that side. Just do equal damage. That's fine with me. Legs and the head. What do I have to lose, really? Oh, wow, that just killed him. A package deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll have to check what that means later. Uh, can I get up there? Oh, I spotted a ladder. Oh, yeah. I can use all of this. Man, I have a lot of illegal parts that I want to check out. Do you get to... That's a question, actually. Do you actually get unique parts for um, harder difficulty? Because that would be a real incentive to play those, you know? To really kind of beef up your guns. I guess you'd need to. <laughs> Alright, through here, I guess. More ammo. Really stocking up here. anything just yet. Always give me the map. Nice. Three shotgun shells. Well, thanks anyway. This device is used for inoculations. Okay. I can copy the passcode here, but I need an employee number first. I might just be able to get one from here. Ah, this turns this off. Okay. That doesn't turn all of them off, unfortunately. Oh my. Okay, it really wants in. You know, I feel like the uh, the Resident Evil movie, the original one, really paved the way for creating, like, laser-related puzzles. <laughs> Don't you feel like that? Like, the, I mean, it was probably, like, the coolest part of that first movie. Which is not a fantastic film overall, but that just... The laser grid part is just amazing. I don't know why I like it so much. Infection log for Queen Zenobia. Alright, so that's his number. After the final note was played in the tragedy known as the Terragrigia Panic, we seized the ship and began to carry out our mission quickly and secretly. The Regia Solis destroyed the city. Now the ship is the only place where we can observe the spread and mutation of the T abyss along with the ancillary, ancillary research. This is the perfect environment to conduct research and we must make the most of it. The only setback is the host infected with the T abyss virus. This will make research very difficult for us because they're, you know, eating us alive all the time. It will not last long as a place of research and science before the entire place is overwhelmed with creatures. We must act quickly. Even though we did this, so I don't know why we didn't see it coming, but there you go. 2005. Our research on the virus has proceeded 
rather smoothly and we were able to develop a proper vaccine. With all our with all our goals accomplished, there is no longer any need for this ship. We have decided to abandon it. A few members of the team did not survive long enough to see this moment, but that is the cost of doing research on deadly creatures that will kill us all. When we told Lansdale about our breakthrough with the vaccine, he showed uncharacteristic felicity. Felicity. There's something scribbled in after an area where pages are torn out. As soon as the research data was sent, the doors to the facility were shut and the BOWs awakened from their cryogenic sleep. I don't understand how I could have missed seeing that Veltro wasn't the only disposable pawn in all of this. Almost funny, really. I see now that it was he who arranged for all these things to come to pass. He gave us, he gave the terrorists the T-Abyss virus, which led to the Terragrigia panic. That gave us lots of valuable data on infection, which led to the eventual development of the vaccine. And thanks to his position of authority, he used the Regia Solus to eradicate the virus, the terrorists, and all the fools in that city. Any traces or links to us vanished with it. The end result, however, is that the world is now afraid of the virus and the FBC. No wonder, and the FBC's charter has been strengthened and expanded. I am awestruck with the degree of perfection with which Lansdale orchestrated all these events. This is one for the history books, to be sure. Hopefully the demand for this vaccine will bring the rest of us the accolades and riches we so justly deserve. The rest of the scribble is in is illegible. There's that word again. Picked up the prototype vaccine. Oh, Chris, God. you're not gonna believe what I just learned. Morgan Lansdale of the FBC was behind the attacks on Terra Grigia. So that's what Raymond was talking about. It is. Seems like it. All I have what a revelation. Evidence. Nothing to nail him for it yet. Alrighty. Well, on that bombshell. I'm going to have to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Resident Evil Revelations. And I do hope to see you all in the next part. And I will see you in a bit. See you later. What are the odds something's going to bust through here, like, right now? Right now. Right. Okay, I guess the odds are exactly zero.